What's going on people, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense, let's continue our biology playlist. In the previous videos we talked about the cardiovascular system, we talked about the heart, we talked about the vessels, and then let's talk about the blood. What's in the blood? You have some antigens. Why do you call it antigens? Because they generate antibodies. Oh, they trigger antibodies. And before you know it, you have an antigen antibody complex and your immune system is stimulated and problems can happen. This is my biology playlist. Please watch these videos in order. First of all, your blood has gazillion antigens. We're just talking about very specific ones, such as the ABO blood groups. Where do I find them? On the surface of your red blood cell. Remember, red blood cells is what? Circular, biconcave, non-nucleated. There is the ABO system and there is the RH system. ABO has two antigens, A and B. What is O? It's just zero. How about the RH? Five antigens. So I'll take one from here and one from here. Therefore, my blood group is A positive or B positive or O negative or AB negative, etc. Today's video is a very brief conversation. If you want the real deal, check my hematology playlist. I have many videos about ABO and RH. Let's talk about the ABO system. How many antigens do we have? A and B. How about the O? It is zero. Can I have A alone? Yes. Can I have B alone? Yes. Can I have both? Yes, we call you AB. Can I have neither? Yes, we will call you O because it's zero. Therefore, you can only have four ABO blood group types. You're either blood group A, B, AB, or O. Just four types. Two antigens, four types. Genetically speaking, they are carried on three alleles. A dominates over O. B dominates over O. I told you, O is nothing. It is zero. Between A and B, there is co-dominance. There is a partnership. You see this? That's your phenotype. How about my genotype? Okay, it could be BB. All right, if this is my genotype, my phenotype will be just B. How about AB? You will be AB. If my genotype is AA, my phenotype is just blood group A. How about BO? B dominates over the O, your blood group B. How about OO? You're just blood group O. How about AO? A dominates over the O, so your blood group A. These are your genotypes. These are your phenotypes. Hey, medicosis, my genotype is OO. Oh my goodness, your phenotype is just blood group O. Okay, do you have any antigens? No, I'm zero. Therefore, you have no antigens. Therefore, what? You have never seen A before. That's why you have an antibody against it. You have never seen B before. You have an antibody ready against it. So your blood does not have antigens, but it does have antibodies. The exact opposite is AB. All right, that's my genotype. It's also your phenotype. What antigens do I have? A and B. Oh, okay. Do you think your body should attack itself? No, I have the antigen. Why would I have antibody against myself? That would be crazy. How about this? Well, whether you are AO or AA, A is the dominant, so your blood group A. Antigen A. Okay, I have the A antigen. Therefore, I've seen it before. No need to make antibodies against it. Have you seen B before? No, I'm ready to destroy B. B is foreign to me. How about this? Okay, that's your genotype. Phenotype is B because B dominates. You have the B antigen and the anti-A antibody. Prevalence among the population is here. This is different from one country to another. If the baby does not have blood group A as an antigen, the baby will have anti-A antibodies. You should be very careful of this because of blood transfusion. If you made a mistake, agglutination can happen, hemolysis, which is destruction of my red blood cells, and bleeding. That's not cool. Hey, medicosis, how do I know my blood group? We'll take two drops from you, and we'll put them on a slide. On the left, we'll add anti-A. This is made in the lab. This is your own blood. We added the anti-A to your blood. Here, we add the anti-B to your blood. Okay, if your blood group A, it means what? I have the A antigen and I have anti-B antibody. Okay, if you have the A antigen, you will agglutinate here. You will react because you have the A and I added anti-A. They will hug each other, agglutination. But you will not agglutinate here. How about if I'm blood group A? You have the B antigen and you will react with the anti-B antibody. How about if I'm blood group AB? You have both antigen, you will react here and here. 
How about O? You don't have any antigens. You will not react. The story of ABO incompatibility was discussed on my hematology playlist. Just remember, it causes hemolysis in the baby. It usually happens when the mother is blood group O. Mother does not have antigens, but mother has antibodies. She has anti-A and anti-B. What if the baby is A? Oops, these antibodies can cross the placenta and go destroy the baby's blood hemolysis. Mommy is blood group O. Mommy is sending her anti-A antibodies across the placenta to destroy the red blood cells of the baby because they have antigen A. How do you remember it? Just write mother and baby. The mother has to be blood group O. The baby could be blood group A or B. Either way, the mother has anti-A and anti-B. The mother will destroy the baby's blood. We are done with ABO groups. Let's talk about RH groups. We're asking ourselves, are you positive or negative? Do you have the RH or you do not have the RH? The RH, of course, is called the D antigen. Where do I find the antigen? It's here on the surface of the red blood cell. This is very famous. If you have this uppercase, capital D, you're RH positive. If you do not have it, you're RH negative. What if mom is RH negative and daddy is RH negative? Therefore, by definition, you will have to be RH negative. But what if daddy is RH positive and mom is RH negative? Then you could be either. There is also a disease called RH incompatibility. It also causes hemolysis for the poor baby. This happens when mommy is RH negative, but the baby is RH positive. Therefore, the baby has the D antigen. This D antigen crosses the placenta and goes to the mother. Mother has never seen this D antigen before. Therefore, the mother will attack the D antigen with her antibodies. Okay, these antibodies can cross the placenta in subsequent pregnancies and destroy the baby's D antigen. Hashtag hemolysis. ABO incompatibility can happen in the first pregnancy. RH usually spares the first pregnancy, but it attacks the second, third, and fourth, and all subsequent pregnancies because it requires synthesization first. Do we have a mnemonic for this? Sure. The baby is RH positive, mommy is RH negative. Where did you think the baby got the positive from? From the father. So the baby says to the mother, I am positive. RH positive, I have the D antigen. I am like my father, like father, like son. And the mother replied to the baby and I quote, and I am so moody, I am negative today. I hate you, I hate your daddy. So take this anti-D antibody. Oh, it hurts. Hashtag hemolysis. During the first pregnancy, the antigens will leave the baby's blood and will go to the mother via the placenta. This is the D antigen. Okay, but then the mother will be sensitized. The mother will develop anti-D antibodies because the mother has never seen those D antigens before. In the second pregnancy and all the subsequent pregnancies, these antibodies will pass from the mother to the baby via the placenta and they will destroy the baby's blood. We call this hemolytic disease of the newborn or erythroblastosis fatalis. This was a topic under the umbrella of alloimmune hemolytic anemia. More on that in my hematology playlist. Here is a lovely comparison between ABO and RH incompatibilities. Please pause and review. I have more than a thousand videos on YouTube and I have some premium courses on my website just like the renal physiology course. It comes with 10 videos, 10 cases, notes, and my Perfectionist Ultimate Notebook. You can download it today. Use discount code PANCREAS to get a 30% discount. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense.